Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of God of War, and we are playing Bahala. So, let's get into it, enjoy, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, chips, whatever. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling. Like we plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Where are the Sial for Simum Hautum? To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. Behind you! Incoming! Not the sort of foes I expected to encounter here. Curious. It seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. At least you're not going in completely hobbled. 
Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. <laughs> At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding us. I am not avoiding her. Brother! You've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid him. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. 
with his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. All right, General. Let's send you in properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. My sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. What have you to say? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them. How you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path. Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed, and we can begin the ceremony. enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. <laughs> New choices to make. A fresh start.
here. What is that odds between you and Sigrun? Did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here. No piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than a general who won life? Come here. Let us talk later. I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How is that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all, an experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Must be how you remember Spartalfine. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace. For the I do, there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. Not know Sorry, everything. brother, but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. Agreed.
Side to this Valhalla madness. At least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well being. What is this? You recognize your old seat, don't you? <laughs> Kratos. I have not forgotten the debt I owe. Still feels reckless. Mm. Here they are now. Valhalla's decision or yours? Mm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules. And if you don't play by them, Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. The resilient warrior stands for this change, easily adjusting to its rhythm.
Every battle is an opportunity, right, General? Now these would make a real and lasting difference. A durable improvement! Brother, the fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. Let's skip the talk for now. No! No! Behind you, brother! <laughs> Midgard in memoriam. Ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Okay. 
Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us, it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. I should focus on Valhalla now. No, no, focus, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fights in a row now. Valhalla's demands are escalated. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mumir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. This room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss it. Hmm. What, what are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. <laughs> <laughs>
I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. I could give you a hint, but I just feel like you wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> Time for another push. Let's go! Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage! It's not funny anymore! I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you! Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that! Quickly! You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. No, you poor thing, look at you. You shouldn't have done that. I'll heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen... Well... That was altogether bloody terrifying. One moment I'm in a forest, the next I'm in a cage full of fire. You changed into Helios and back again. It 
was unpredictable. I'll see. I'm truly not sure if we've gone too far, or if we've come too far to stop. We are not stopping. I must face this. I know, brother. These could really help you in there. Well, anyways, if you guys do like this, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more, and we shall be back with more. Have yourself a good one, guys.